my my eye is hurting me right now because because I was putting in a contact and the contact you guys ripped in my eye so my eye really 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 is irritating me right now but I put it in there and then like it ripped so like yeah this is where I'm at right now so honestly I just want to film like the authentic Dana life as a entrepreneur realtor because I do a lot of things but I just got I just want you guys to see the raw me right so today I have a closing and I'm gonna do some YouTube content because I am going to create some courses for how to become a top producing luxury leasing agent so I'm gonna record some videos for that and then I have a closing today you guys so this closing um, my client is purchasing it in Berwyn Illinois it is a cute cute house and what I like about this deal is we beat it out 15 offers so some quick tips when you are up against multiple offers you guys i'm waiting for my makeup artist to be done actually so don't mind me so when you are trying to beat out 15 offers on a house um, you need to see what the seller wants right so as an agent um you want to call the listing agent you want to say hey what is the seller looking for you know is the seller looking for a quick closing or do they have to sell a house before this? Um, you know, what are their needs, right? I always try to tell my clients that the highest price bid is important, but sometimes it's not, right? Especially if you're up against a multiple offer situation and you're up against other people, you want to outbeat them. So you want to get more information on the other side of the deal to say, hey, you know, what do you guys want? My client really likes this house. So tell us what we can do, right? How can we can work with you guys? You wanna make it as flexible as possible and obviously make it flexible and it has to be flexible with your client as well. So that is some tips on how you can beat multiple offers. Um, also what's important is contingencies, right? You wanna see if your client is able to do it as is, if they wanna waive inspection. Um, there are multiple things or even put up a highest earnest money. So this deal was so good because I was happy that we got this house and we beat it 15 offers, you guys. And I'm gonna do a little closing video with my client, but that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do some YouTube content for my new course coming out. Please stay tuned for that. I'm gonna teach people how to make six figures in luxury leasing. Um, a lot of agents, they do not know about leasing but there is so much to leasing than just going on the MLS and renting something and getting paid half. There is so much more out there than just getting half a commission on a rental. Okay, you guys, so watch out for my course. These are natural. Yeah. These are cute. But I don't want to put too, too big because it's going to look like very dramatic. We're almost done. At the right, turn right into the parking lot. Glasses. <laughs> so I'm gonna go pick up my contacts. And then it's gonna be way better because then these are gonna be gone. And then I'm gonna go to my closing. Then I'm gonna give my clients their closing up. And then I'm gonna go run some errands. guys this is my last stop and then I'm gonna go to my clothing
address here. I think we've got that right. We are proud of you, you and we are honored to share this important time with you. Only by hard work, self-sacrifice, determination, and desire to persevere and realize a dream does that dream become the reality that it did. You beat the fear, COVID, right? And believed in your God-given abilities. We acknowledge God's blessing on this day, a big day, a great day, today's day, uh, from the Bob Schilling Institute. Selena. Okay, when we're the seller, we have tax liability at the time of the sale. So documentation has to be filled out for IRS, Uncle Sam, as we call him, uh, loss or gain or whatever, okay? We're not in that situation as the- All right, you guys, that was my closing. And that is the attorney I work with all the time. So he made a little um, nice certificate for my client, um, basically stating like, I am the new owner of this house. And it was like a little certificate. And it was so cute, you guys. I had to stop at Dunkin' Donuts, you guys. I get the caramel crazed latte. And then I'm gonna get a donut. And then we're gonna go visit a, um, we're gonna go visit. What? All right, you guys, this is my caramel craze. You guys gotta try it. It's good, good. So what I just filmed was one of my clients project i had to stop by to see how everything's going he is opening a lounge and i just want to see how the process is working and it is completely being remodeled right now but they are working on the electrical the hvac and the plumbing and then the next thing is they're going to put in the floors and then they're going to start designing so i just wanted to stop by and see how everything's doing so again you guys I will be having courses on teaching people how to be a top producer, so please be on the lookout for that. But today it was very successful. Um, I am so happy for my client, Devon. Shout out to Devon. Congratulations on your home. It is a beautiful home. And that wraps up a little day in my life.